Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math numpad exponential equation problem and here we have 3 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x equals to 5 to the power of x and we solve this problem for the values of x. So the very first step we are going to do is here first we move this 4 to the power of x to the right hand side and it will be written as 3 to the power of x equals to 5 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x and now in the next step we divide both of the sides of the equation by 4 to the power of x so that it will be written as 3 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x equals to 5 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x so here we just divide both of the sides by 4 to the power of x so first we focus in the left hand side and you see here we have uh, the two numbers whose exponents are same so that we combine its exponents and we write it as 3 over 4 and its whole power x equals to similarly here we combine the coefficients of these terms exponents of these terms and we write it as 5 over 4 and its whole power x minus these are cancelled by each other and we get 1. So now uh, we focus on uh, both of these terms. So now here we focus on these two terms and uh, and here uh, first I can uh, tell us about uh, an important fact of increasing or decreasing function. So uh, here we write a note in this question. So if we have a, a number a n or we say that a n is increasing function if if our a is greater than 1. We call here that a n is increasing if our base is greater than 1 and similarly we call a n is decreasing function if our a is less than 1 okay so if a is our base is less than 1 then we say that it is decreasing function if our base is greater than 1 then we say that it is increasing function so uh, now here we focus on these two terms so first we write here 3 over 4 uh, so uh, here you see that we easily say about 3 and 4 is that our 3 is less than 4 okay 3 is less than 4 so now we move 4 in the left hand side so we write here that 3 over 4 is less than 1 so if 3 over 4 is less than 1 it means that our base is less than 1 so if our base is less than 1 it means that 3 over 4 and its whole power x is an uh, decreasing function because our base is less than 1 so we say that 3 over 4 and its whole power x is decreasing function is decreasing function so uh, now our left hand side uh, is decreasing function so now we focus on uh, the right hand side and here you see that we have 5 over 4 and its whole power x so if we make the relation between 5 and 4 so you say that 4 is less than 5 so uh, because we make here 4 5 over 4 so we move this 4 to the right hand side and we write it as 1 is less than 5 over 4 or 5 over 4 is greater than 1 it means that uh, in this case our base is greater than 1 so you say that 5 over 4 and its whole power x is increasing function is increasing function <clears throat> okay so uh, here uh, you see uh, one thing is that uh, this is negative one so if we uh, decrease one from increasing function so that it will remains uh, an increasing function okay so uh, because this is increasing function 
and when we subtract minus 1 from increasing function it will remains the increasing function so this function also whole is increasing function so this is decreasing function so now uh, we uh, 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 we view visual representation of these increasing and decreasing functions are in this form so you see here uh, increasing uh, uh, function will be looks like in this form so this type of function is called increasing function and this type of function is called the decreasing function so we have this is the solution of this question because our left hand side is decreasing function right hand side is increasing function so increasing and decreasing functions are intersect at one point so in that point is called the solution of this problem so here we <coughs> uh, find this uh, intersection point uh, by inspection so here first we write our question statement it is 3 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x equals to 5 to the power of x or we uh, write in other words is that 3 to the power of x equals to 5 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x so now you focus on this equation this exponential equation so here first we check this at n equals to 0 so if you substitute n equals to 0 on this equation on both of the sides then you see here we have 3 to the power of 0 is 1 and equals to 3 to the power of 0 is 1 minus 1 so you can easily say that 1 is equals to 0 but we know that 1 is not equal to 0 so that it is not possible okay it is not possible uh, 1 equals to 0 so we rejected this value and now we check at n equals to 1 so this means that we substitute sorry uh, because here we have x so we write it here x this is also x so now we substitute x equals to 1 here so you see that we have 3 equals to 5 minus 4 and 3 equals to 5 minus 4 uh, is equals to 1 so 3 is also not equals to 1 so that it is again not possible case so we rejected this one and now we can check at uh, x equals to 2 so when you substitute it here x equals to 2 it will become 3 square equals to 5 square minus 4 square and you get 9 equals to 25 minus 16 and 25 minus 16 is 9 so 9 equals to 9 so this shows that x equals to 2 be the solution of this equation so uh, we have the solution is x equals to 2 and this point of intersection will be also x equals to 2 so this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos